switch. You've seen that if statements aren't a great fit for checking enum values. They add a lot of visual noise, and they can't tell you that you've covered all of the cases, even though the point of enums is to provide a limited list of cases. What's a better way to choose different courses of action based on the value of an enum? So here we have our enum lunch choice in our three cases, pasta, burger, and soup. And we're going to make the constant choice, and that is going to be the lunch choice type or enum, and the burger case. So the answer is a switch statement. So what we aren't looking for here is on the previous page, it was this huge if statement, and that gets kind of messy. So what we're going to do is this here. So switch choice. So we are going to look at our choice and with case pasta, burger, or soup. So that is the three options that this could be potentially. So in the case pasta, and then we have this pasta emoji um, as a string, then burger, and then soup. So the switch statement looks very much like the enum declaration above. That's because they're designed to work well together. The switch statement starts with the keyword switch, followed by the value that it's checking and an opening brace. So we have switch, and then the value it's checking, choice, and then the brace. Next, you add a series of cases to be checked, each with the case keyword, followed by a value and a colon. So we have case, and then our value is dot pasta, and then our colon. Since the type of the enum is known, you can use the dot syntax and leave out the type name. So we don't need to include the type name because we know that choice is a lunch choice. If the value being checked matches the case statement, the code between the matched case and the next case is run, then the switch statement, just like the if statement, is done. So when one of these match, it is essentially going to return that string. So we have dot burger and it is a burger here that it is returning. Next, find out some of the other features of switch statements. 